Hey y'all, thought I'd bring her along with for the morning. She's uh, She likes to say hi in the morning. She likes to sit on my lap like a human. Weird, weird dog. Good morning. Should we let you go? Hey? Yeah. We'll let you go. Say bye. Well, friends, you're, you might be wondering, where's all the fancy editing? Where's the intro? What is going on, Mr. Gord? Well, Misa Gord, as I used to be called, Misa Gord, uh, Gord has sent his laptop away to have the hard drive replaced and more RAM. Reason being is creating these videos, doing all these things, takes a lot of rendering time on the computer. And double my RAM will half my time, speed me up, get these videos to you quicker. I think it's important. And uh, it was about time this old laptop needed a refurbish, and I had a good deal. So, you do what you gotta do. A pitter patter. Let's get at her. Never had a comment about that. I was trying to be funny. The only comment I got was from my young son saying, Those footsteps didn't sound like footsteps, Dad. Oh, well. What I want to talk about today is a rather theoretical thing. Uh, there's been a lot of talk in other programs like Instagram, uh, Jack Dorsey, uh, no, it, Instagram's owned by Facebook, but anyways, there was talk that in Instagram they might take away how many likes there are, and Twitter was looking at, do we even allow likes? You know, why do we do this? And <clears throat> we've all had talks about the thumbs down, thumbs up. And I've always, I've slowly developed how I feel about it. But yesterday, there was an epiphany. And I realized, these things are dumb. Yes, it's dumb being discouraged by thumbs downs. But it's also kind of dumb of me to be encouraged by thumbs up. And there was a report on children's mental health saying that the worst thing for children's mental health in today's world is Instagram because they're forever, excuse me, forever looking for those likes, looking for that confirmation that they are as good as all these Photoshop selfies that are out there. And I started to think, you know, I like that I've got my son involved in YouTube. Him developing those videos, him trying to figure out what his audience wants, and him gaming has given him a new social interaction ability that I think is important in this social interactive world. But one thing I noticed, and I'm not going to encourage it anymore, I was starting to say, hey, look, you got uh, five thumbs up on this video and 17 on this one. And when I started thinking yesterday about that, about me having done that, when they're saying that this kind of thing is bad for them. Then I started looking at my own self. How often I go to my video list and check my thumbs up percentage and see how many views I've got. View count, I guess, is somewhat important, but viewing means people cared enough to look. And that's about it. But a thumbs up, a thumbs down doesn't mean much at all, except it can drive your psyche. And if, if I, who am supposed to be somewhat in control up here, because I have a frontal cortex, my young son doesn't have that. He doesn't have that extra reasoning ability yet. It's not developed. So I need to be it for him, and I need to 
start pushing the ignoring of likes or dislikes or thumbs up or down. It's all about do the best job you can and if those who, who matter enjoy it, they'll comment. And if they don't comment, that doesn't mean they didn't enjoy it, they just didn't find something to comment on. But I'm saying this as if it's a, a dad with an epiphany that he's going to apply to his son, and that's a good thing. But you know what? I'm talking to myself, too. And maybe most of you, some of you are developing your own channels lately. Some of you have your own channels. And I like the idea that... Uh, Philip DeFranco said it when he was reporting on this yesterday, check his, his videos out, that maybe we're seeing a new realm of social networking where, where the content becomes more important than the reaction you get from people you don't even know. You know, who cares how many followers you have? If you want to share something, if you want to create something that people might like, the strength is in the creation. I love creating my videos. I love putting them together. I lo love making them bigger and more beautiful and more funny and more weird and more... All I like attempting to reach an audience. And... How far my reach is, is not important. It's, uh, it's the journey that counts. It's not the destination. There we go. So we're seven minutes in without an intro. So I'm going to almost end it there. We do have little known fact. And hopefully by tomorrow, I'm back on to the regular method of doing this with an intro, with uh, little things all over. So, at the 1905 wedding of Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt, President Teddy Roosevelt gave away the bride. I don't really care about that. Let's read you a new one. I'm sorry. <laughs> William Faulkner refused a dinner invitation from the JFK White House. Why, that's 100 miles away, he said. That's a long way to go just to eat. And since it was crappy, I'll give you one more. In 1907, an ad campaign for Kellogg's Corn Flakes offered a free box of cereal to any woman who would wink at her grocer. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that go over well today, friends? Peace and cheers, love and harmony. We'll catch you tomorrow.